In this video, we're going to take a look very briefly at a list of all of the plugins that come with Jetpack, and then we're going to take a look at the Site Statistics plugin. A little bit down on this page is a link that says, See the other 28 Jetpack features. And here are all of them. Beautiful Math allows you to put in some fairly complicated mathematical equations right into the text editor. Things that normally aren't possible. And things, honestly, that normal people don't do. But if you're a mathematician, you'll need these. Carousel makes a, like a slideshow out of your galleries. Comments moves comments out of your local WordPress install onto WordPress.com where they can be more carefully managed. There's a contact form, something to allow you to do some custom CSS, some custom content types so that you can add things like recipes. Enhanced distribution allows you to send your content to places like Facebook and Twitter. There are some extra sidebar widgets Gravatar hover cards, which enhance what authors look like. Infinite scroll, so that you can just keep on scrolling forever on your site. A JSON API, so that people can get at your content from other sites. And there's a whole bunch of other things here. We'll go over most of them, but in this video we're going to look next at site stats. If you simply click it, it simply tells you that they're going to handle your stats for you. There's an activate button here in the bottom right, but also back on this page there's one right next to the title. There, now it's activated. And you can click on site stats here, or you can go right to the dashboard. And right on the dashboard there's this site stats meta box. And then if we go to site stats here, it tells you that you don't have any stats yet. That's because it actually takes about 20 minutes to get started, and that assumes that you're getting traffic on your site, which this one probably isn't because it's a demo site. So we're actually going to take a look at another site which does have some stats. This is HeroPress.com, and it's been running WP Stats for quite a while now. And so you can see my site stats dashboard widget has numbers in it. If you hover, it tells you the date and how many views you got on that day. It also tells you things like top posts and top searches. It also says view all. And this takes you to the site stats page right inside your own site. And here's some more information. Best ever, all time, top posts and pages, clicks, things like that. But then, even better, if you go to show me on WordPress.com and then log in with your WordPress.com username, then over here on WordPress.com, we have this page. This is the Insights page, which says things like most popular day is Wednesday, most popular hour is 2 p.m., comments by authors, etc. And then you can go to Days, which should look familiar, and then come down here and it tells you posts and pages, and countries, and referrers, and clicks, and search terms. And then you can go to Weeks and find out which weeks are good, and Months, and lastly Years. It's only August, and I'm already doing better than last year. So as you can see, there's a great deal more information here. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I want to use this instead of Google Analytics? There are a variety of reasons, and honestly, I use both. On HeroPress.com, I have both Google Analytics and WordPress stats. This information is updated about every 10 minutes. Whereas Google Analytics, if you want to see a day's traffic, you have to wait till the next day. So if you want to know today's traffic, you're not going to see it until tomorrow. Whereas with this, I can simply reload and 
see if there's been new traffic. And there has not in the time we've done this video. But it doesn't take very long. This number climbs all day long. I can also see the countries grow all day long and see who's visiting throughout the day. So there are many, many things that Google Analytics does in a much better way than WordPress stats. But there are some things that WordPress stats does better also. So I think it's worth running both. If nothing else, WordPress stats are a lot simpler to understand.